I recommend that people start planning as early as possible. It can be difficult sometimes if you're sitting across the dining room table from someone in their late 20s or perhaps even early 30s to get them thinking about retirement, but actually it couldn't be more important. It used to be that uh, a doctor would you know, qualify, go into their foundation year of training, work until they're 60 and then retire quite simply. That is not the case anymore. There's been a lot of changes to pension legislation generally, but also within the NHS pension itself, there's been a lot of changes, which I'm sure most of our clients are aware of. Um, so it is actually really important to plan as early as possible, but I would also say it's equally as important to keep those plans up to date as legislation changes as we go forward. One of the key components of my advice is that I use a method called cash flow modeling and I believe in it very strongly. I don't believe that you can actually give effective advice to someone who's approaching retirement without using cash flow modeling. So that will look at your assets, liabilities, your income versus your outgoings in retirement and will paint the picture as to what type of lifestyle you will in reality be able to lead in retirement. Everyone will have a lifestyle that they want to uh, you know, lead in retirement, but a cash flow model will actually demonstrate to your clients whether or not that is achievable. And I think that is absolutely key. I suppose retirement is one of those things that we don't necessarily pay too much attention to, generally speaking, until perhaps we're approaching the age at which we want to go. And a lot of people don't spend a lot of time thinking about, well, actually, what am I going to do in retirement? But in reality, if you think about it logically, when you retire, um, I would like to say that you get eight hours of your day back. But most of our clients watching this will uh, be thinking, I wish I get eight hours back. It's probably more like 12 hours of their day back. And, and if you think about it in reality, how are you going to fill that time? And a lot of people don't necessarily think that. They just think, well, I want to go on holiday a couple of times a year. I want to spend more time with my children, my grandchildren, or indeed my friends and family. But they don't actually think about, well, what am I going to do day to day? And that's where financial planning comes in. And it's my role to ask those tough questions and really get those answers out of our clients about how they see the retirement and then put an effective plan in place to help them achieve it. It is. Um, it depends what you mean by early retirement. Um, a lot of people will say they're not retiring early, they're retiring at the perfect time. But in effect, at the moment, you can access your NHS pension at the age of 55, and that is changing to 57 in a couple of years' time. But you can leave the NHS and access your NHS pension currently from the age of 55, albeit there are some key considerations that our clients should know before making that decision. And that's where our specialist financial advice will come in because we do know the NHS pension scheme incredibly well and we'll be able to advise accordingly on early retirement as to whether or not it is suitable for our clients. Well, it's an incredibly complex area and it's very much individual. Each person will have a different idea of what their retirement is going to look like. And I think it's really important that you seek advice at the earliest opportunity so that we can guide you along that journey. Generally speaking, the early stages of retirement, a lot of people don't necessarily think this, but their income uh, versus outgoings will change dramatically in terms of outgoings will rise, possibly quite sharply, because a lot of people with a lot more free time perhaps will do a lot more of a hobby that they have always done or perhaps take up new hobbies. They'll maybe travel a little bit more so they can see a sharp rise in outgoings. But I think the key from our advice point of view is the cash flow modeling that we do. So anyone approaching retirement, we would try and map out uh, as far as we possibly can, uh, what their income and outgoings are going to look like at each stage of retirement. So those first 10 years of retirement, there may be a sharp rise in outgoings, but inevitably it will slow down Income may rise again in the form of a state pension being introduced, which a lot of people don't necessarily bank upon, um, but has to be considered. And then later in the retirement uh, plan, we also have to think about things like long term care and how their income is going to support that, if at all possible. So it is very much an individual thing. Um, however, cash flow modeling, modeling will be key to uh, forming a plan.
yes, absolutely. Um, a, a strong financial plan will help you achieve your goals. It's very much, again, an individual thing. Everyone will have different goals, but that's where the um, flexibility of our advice proposition comes in and we can tailor our advice to each individual's goals um, irrespective of what they are. I encourage everyone to seek for professional financial advice on the lead up to the retirement. Um, I think it will help them focus their minds on what type of retirement they want to have and how achievable it is. Um, a lot of times people will have these ideas of what they want to do in retirement, but it's my job to um, you know, provide some reality in terms of what is achievable and what isn't. Um, so I think initially when someone's thinking about retirement or perhaps they're approaching the age at which they start to think about retirement, they should seek uh, financial advice at the earliest opportunity. There's no blanket uh, method for retirement for, um, for, for everyone. So everyone's retirement will be very much individual and unique to them. So some people may plan to uh, take a lot of holidays. Some people may plan or might be happy just, uh, you know, pottering around the garden. It very much depends on what that individual likes to do and sees for their retirement. But uh, the, the, my role is to um, help them achieve their ideal retirement, whatever that may be. And uh, using Wesleyan's advice model, we can help them achieve that uh, as efficiently as possible. <laughs>